First down, a low one there from 1899. Safe robotics passed by the Alliance. And there are top 2903, the Neobots. And the early advantage to Ren by six points. The very first competition I ever went to, I was completely overwhelmed. It was robots everywhere, teams that had built amazing contraptions that I couldn't even begin to comprehend. There's a lot of spirit. All the teams go full out in costume, team cheers. You get to also see what other teams are doing and it's really eye-opening sometimes to see these really dramatic and drastically different designs that you've never thought about before. It's fun. It's really fun. I mean, you get to work with all these things that you don't generally even see or even heard of. There's a lot of excitement. It's a lot of work, but you don't necessarily have to like a certain subject to be part of it. The number one rule of first is that anyone can be on a robotics team. We have different parts. There's the programming, there's mechanical, electrical, there's even a marketing team. So if you want to be in business, you have a good opportunity to do that. Whatever your interests are, we need you. We need someone with your skills. We have people who know things and people who want to learn, and they can teach each other. And 38-12, now looking to be joined by 1899. We would like to win, as always. <laughs> so it is a lot about um, competing, but it's also just to be able to enjoy all the hard work we put into it and see how we do. If we say every year, we got to win, if we don't win, we're going to be very upset, then that's a tough, tough club to be in because there's a lot of teams here. And you know, it's impossible to win every match. And we learn from our mistakes, but it's just, I think it's just all about the experience and the process of, oh, so that's what can go wrong and just figuring out all these things. So maybe next year we'll do better. I've always been interested in robotics. It's always been something that's really cool to me. You know, it's, it's technology, it's interesting, it's fun. But I always thought it was way out of my league. I was dreaming of being an archeologist, of, of being a photographer. I, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I was just going after whatever felt cool at the time. I had the epiphany of, I can be an engineer. I have all the skills I need to be an engineer. Being an engineer would be so cool, be a lot of fun. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. There is so much, so much that I've learned from this, and if anyone participates and put their heart into it, there are so many things they can learn.